In this video I'm going to show you how to fix an iPod with a connect to iTunes screen. So I'm going to turn my iPod on now. You're looking at an iPod 4G touch. So I'm going to turn it on. And look what happens. It turns on. All I get is this. So I'm going to show you how to get past this and get the iPod running. So I'm going to connect it now. I already have I already have iTunes open, so I'm going to connect. The iPod is connected now to iTunes with my SYNC cable to my computer. And the screen is showing that it detected in recovery mode and it has to restore the iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So what you do now is you click OK and you go to restore now you go to restore and update So now, this can take a while and has to run an iPod software update in this particular situation. So you have to wait till this is finished. This can take quite a while. It's a large update, so you just have to be patient and let the update run. Do not, un do not interrupt this under any circumstances. Just let it fully run, and after the update, you go to the next step. Okay, so the software update is almost complete. And now I'm going to, still showing the iTunes connection right here, so I'm going to restore it to factory settings. Okay, so now the iPod just powered off. It's powering on now. Okay, iPod just powered off. Powering on again. So let's set up the iPod now. I'm going to set it up as a new iPod. Okay, we're almost there. Sync in progress. Okay, now it's syncing. Okay, the iPod is fully synced with music. I disconnected it. So now we can just close up iTunes and let's check the iP let's check the iPod out. There you go. Everything's back to normal. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments and rate this video. And thank you for tuning in.